Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. My name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I really appreciate you being here. I am very excited for today's video because today we're going to be reviewing the brand new release by Narcotica. This is Narco Oasis. And I cannot wait to tell you my thoughts and opinions on this fragrance. This was not sent to me in PR. I did purchase this with my own money. This video is not sponsored. This is my 100% honest opinion on this fragrance and I can't wait to share it with you. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep on watching. So this is the packaging that it comes in and it just opens up and comes like that. The bottle is pretty true to Narcotica. I really like Narcotica's bottles because I feel like they're very heavy, very weighted, very luxurious looking. This is a 100 ml bottle and it retails for $280. So it is an expensive fragrance. However, I do have an affiliate code with Dor Prestige, which is a company that sells Narcotica fragrances. I had that affiliate code long before I ever purchased this. That code is with them. It's not with Narcotica themselves. They didn't give me an affiliate code, but Dor Prestige sells Narcotica fragrances and lots of other niche fragrances like Initio, BDK, Parfums de Marly, all of that. So I have a code for them. It's Jax10. I'll leave all the information in the description box. So if you are interested in purchasing this, you can save 10% with Jax10. Also, they do have a 2 mil available, so you can test it first, or you can also purchase a 10 mil travel spray if you don't want to shell out the $280 for this fragrance, because I understand that is expensive. However, I did blind buy this. I got this as soon as it launched. I did the pre-sale because I just had a feeling I was gonna love this. When I saw the notes, I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be the tropical fruity perfume of my freaking dreams. So I've had this fragrance for four days now and I've worn it every single day because I really wanted to thoroughly test this fragrance out before I gave you guys my review and I wanted to know about performance and all that good stuff. So let's talk about the main accords of this fragrance. First of all, it's fruity, it's tropical, it's sweet, citrusy, there's some amber, there's some musk, and there's some vanilla in this perfume. So the top notes are passion fruit, black currant, blood orange. And I will say, as soon as I sprayed this fragrance, the first thing I got was a giant blast of passion fruit. And to be very honest with you, when I first sprayed it, I thought, oh, that's too much passion fruit. But luckily, it quickly kind of tones down and the other notes come to play and then it balances itself out. But first spray, I was like, whoa, passion fruit. <laughs> so you do have to be a fan of passion fruit because it does stay through the entire wear of the fragrance. But if at first spray you think, whoa, that's a lot, just give it a minute, it'll tone down. I definitely get blood orange. I don't get much black currant, but I get the blood orange. And then middle notes is peach and juicy pear. I do get both of those notes in here. And then there's jasmine and iris, but I have to say I don't get much of a white floral vibe from this fragrance at all. And then there's vanilla infusion, brown sugar, and tonka. I definitely start to pick up that brown sugar in the mid to dry down. And then that vanilla comes in to play, and it's so delicious, you guys. I just absolutely love it. And then the base notes you have blonde woods which I'm thankful for because just when you think that this perfume is going to be maybe a little too sweet those woody notes there's creamy sandalwood in here too and I do pick that up and I like that I like that there's the sandalwood the woody notes there's musk in here as well which I do like that as well because it does make it a little bit more of a wearable fragrance for me there's also sea amber in here which I don't know what that is and that I was a little bit nervous about because what's sea amber? Does that mean it's going to be marine or salty? But I don't get a marine or salty vibe from this at all. I do get a touch of a warmth to this fragrance in the dry down, so I'm guessing that's the sea amber. I don't really know. But if you're worried about that note like I was, I don't really pick up anything marine or salty or anything like that. This is an extra to parfum. I was a little bit worried about this being an extra to parfum, though, to be honest with you, because I thought, okay, this is going to be a very sweet fruity fragrance. What if it's so strong that it's suffocating in the hot weather? Because I don't see myself ever wearing this in the fall winter. It is way too tropical fruity summertime for me. You know, I just don't see myself wanting to wear this in the winter. It's strong enough to wear it in the winter. It would cut through the cold. So if you're somebody who likes fruity fragrances all year round, you're going to be able to get away with this. But for me, 
I just don't see myself wearing it in cold weather, but I happily will say I've been wearing this, like I said, for the last four days, and I never found it to be suffocating. It was never too much. It is a very sweet fragrance, though, so you do have to be into sweet fragrances, and you definitely have to love fruits, specifically passion fruit, to love this fragrance, but if you like that, I think you're gonna be fine wearing it this in the summer because that musk is in here and it really does help it to make it feel more wearable. So I never found it to be cloying, I never found it to be too much. I was a little bit worried when I first sprayed it because it seemed almost kind of like just a fun, tropical, almost like a fruit punch when I first sprayed it, and it, it stays that fruit punch vibe through the entire wear of the fragrance, but luckily those other notes come in and give it depth and character and it doesn't just smell like you spilled fruit punch on you. <laughs> There's definitely more to this fragrance than just that. Give it a minute when you spray it. Like just give it a minute to warm up on your skin and let those other notes come into play before you truly judge the fragrance because it is possible that somebody could spray this and think, oh, that's just really sweet fruit punch. You gotta give it time for all the notes to come together and then it's just absolutely magical. It takes about five minutes for it to really start working its magic on my skin and once it does, when that that vanilla and that brown sugar and the sandalwood and musk comes into play with all those juicy sweet fruits you guys I have it on my hand right now mm. Yeah, and like I said already, I'm gonna stress this to you guys. You have to be a fan of passion fruit because that is the number one fruit I smell in here. So keep that in mind. I think passion fruit can be a little intense for some people. So I don't think that this is a safe blind buy though. As much as I'm talking about how much I love it, I really don't think it's a safe blind buy. I really feel like you should go ahead and just get that two mil first or maybe just the 10 mil first and test it out because I can see how this might be a little too fruity, a little too passion fruit, a little too sweet for some people, but not for me. For me, this is absolutely delicious and I love it and I am so happy with the performance. I'm so happy with the way it smells. Do I think that this was worth every single penny I paid for it? Yes, I do. I would pay for it again with my own money if I went through this bottle or lost it or whatever. I would think it would be worth getting back into my collection because I think it is absolutely fantastic. I will say that I really don't feel like I have anything in my collection that smells quite like this. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I think the closest thing that maybe I have had in my collection was Room 129 by the Talaferio. That smelled like straight up Hawaiian fruit punch. But where this differs from that, I actually ended up decluttering that because I thought it was a fun fragrance. Room 129 was fun, but I found myself never reaching for it because it was just too sweet. It was Hawaiian fruit punch, realistic Hawaiian fruit punch with nothing in it to really give it any character. And it just, it was a very youthful, smelling fragrance that I just didn't take very seriously and I ended up not wearing it so I just decluttered it. This one is an elevated fruit punch perfume with a lot of other things going on to round it out and give it a balance. And this is much more wearable in my opinion. Way, way better in my opinion. I don't know how else to say it besides that. It's, this is just absolutely delicious. I, I love it. And of course, I want to hear from you. Have you tried this? Are you interested in this fragrance? What are your thoughts if you've tried it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section. I absolutely love to hear from you guys. That's it for today's video. It was short and sweet and to the point. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick review of the new Narco Oasis. I am a fan and yeah, I will definitely be rocking this a lot this summer. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like it and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!